Hey, it's your brother Makai, back with another video. Uh, I was on the phone last night with my brother, and uh, we was having a dialogue in regards to uh, just life in general. You know, we talk daily. You know, I, I chop it up with my brother daily. Um, you know, current events, different things. And we came across the topic of listening. And, you know, we've been taught to pray. We've been taught to seek God. We've been taught to reach out to the creator and ask for all these things. But um, we never sit and listen. Um, that's what meditation is. We need to listen. You know, once you petition and you put that thing out there in the universe, now you need to sit still. And maybe even sit still with a pen and a pad and begin to write down whatever your higher self delivers to your lower self. So you may have made all these plans and preparations and you may have come to a standstill. You're like, well, I don't know, where, what should I do? And sometimes we'll seek people. But remember, just because they had that experience doesn't mean you're gonna have the same experience or that same success. So what we must do is take time to listen. Just sit still and go within ourselves. And you can say, yes, spirit, I'm ready to receive. Speak to me right now. Give me the instructions that I need so that I can move forward on my path, so that I can be in my purpose, so that I can contribute to mankind, so that I can be a vessel and a tool for the greater good. And that's just a simple, I just made that up right now. Your intention is everything. Your intention is everything. What's the purpose? I ask myself, how can I help? How can I help mankind? How can I help people that's downtrodden? How can I help them? How can I contribute to their life? Um, how can I lift them up? How can I help them have a better day? Because when I make this my intention, I have to have this inside of me. So it keeps me doing my son work. It keeps me meditating. I got mantras. Um, Nam yo den ge kyo, nam yo den ge kyo, nam yo den ge kyo. Uh, um, gum, gana pate, namaha. I mean, this is a lifestyle. This is things that I use that work for me. And I don't share everything because it all, it comes in due time. But just these little things along the way that I picked up. I just gave you two different pantheons. I just showed you uh, uh, the Buddhist chant, and then I just did a Hindu chant. I mean, it's alchemy. We're here to utilize everything that's down here because it's all the same path to enlightenment. Up is down, down is up, you know? So that's the key. We need to sit down and we need to listen. We do a lot of talking. That's why the creator gave you two ears and one mouth, you know? Um, a lot of times people want to just call you and just dump their problems, dump their problems, dump their problems. And the solution could have come to them, but they're not listening. So that's what we want to focus on, family, is listening. Listening to the spirit. It's that small little sweet voice. You know, uh, uh, being willing to sacrifice, being willing to come out of your comfort zone. Because we all is, are not seeking money. Money is the byproduct of you solving a problem. You know, uh, Amazon solved the problem. I need a package. I need it here at a specific time. And that's what they specialize in. That's what the business is. But we're not just here to just make money. It's about people impacting other people's lives. So you got to ask yourself, have you contributed today? What's your contribution to mankind? How have you contributed to humanity? Have you said a kind word? Did you hold the door for your brother or your sister? Did you say some loving words? Did you give them encouragement? Because sometimes people need to hear that. And sometimes you are the answer to their prayer. You may have walked in a convenience store or in the gas station just to say to somebody, hey, brother, you have a good day. Hey, sister, you have a good day. You know, they may have needed to hear that. So we have to understand that we're all interconnected, seven degrees of separation. I mean, this is kind of simplistic, but it's reality. So somebody needed to hear this today, but you gotta listen. You wanna know what's next. Your mother can't tell you, your father can't tell you. They did not create you, they may have, you came through them, but who you are, as far as your DNA and 
you know, uh, uh, your spiritual gifts and, 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 your, and your, your spiritual parents, these things was predestined and ordained before you even came into your physical body. So while we're down here on earth, utilize your avatar, you know, this is a lifestyle. This is a choice to be in service to me is amazing. You know, I love to love because it's the most powerful frequency and energy in the universe. So listen, if you're looking for some answers and you and you keep going to people and you can't get the answers, it means it needs to come directly from the creator to you. So sit still, do some meditation and be willing to receive and then be willing to execute it, even if it's not what you think it is, even if it's something you don't want to do. You need to be willing to execute it to go to the next level. Hey, listen. <laughs> stay lit. Stay love. Stay light. It's your brother Makai with another video. Remember, obstacles are the things that you see when you take your eyes off the goal. Self-love is the most powerful love there is. And remember to listen. The creator gave you two ears and one mouth. Stop asking people for the answer. When the blueprint comes from the most high. It's your brother Makai. Peace.